Even if you're brand new to .NET development, chances are you've been in a situation where you need to display a list of enumeration values to the user. In this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of better ways of doing it all the way from the most basic right up to advanced mode. Okay, let's get started. So to illustrate this, I have a very basic Blazor page. I have a drop-down list that's being populated with values from an enumeration. And when the user selects one, we show the enumeration value and the string value. Taking a quick look at our Blazor page, we have our drop-down list, which is being populated for each of the values in our day of the week enumeration and that is being bound to a selected day variable so that whenever the user selects a day, it is displayed up here. And here we're just calling the two string value of our selected day to output the value as is. So this is the most basic scenario and while it works fine, it doesn't take long before you start realizing there's problems. As soon as we move on to level two and start having longer names in our enumeration, we'd ideally want to output these with spaces in between to make this look a bit more user friendly. So an easy way to improve this is to write an extension method that would put spaces in between each of the words you wanna separate. There's nothing fancy about this method, it really just loops through each character, checking whether it's a capital letter or not, and if it does, it inserts a space before them. What's great about this approach is it's really convenient and easy to use. Instead of just calling a two string, we just call a two friendly string, and our string is outputted with some spaces and it looks a lot more user friendly. The great thing about extension methods is it, we really just need to write that single extension method and it's gonna be available to all of our enumerations throughout the project. This method can only take us so far, we immediately run into a problem when we want to display something to the user that actually isn't inside of the name of the enumeration. This is where we want to move to level three and we want to create a description helper so that whatever gets selected, for example, this one ran to completion, we actually wanted the description to be the task ran to completion. We can do this really easily as well by creating a helper class and then calling a get description, passing in the enumeration value selected. And then we have a case statement that selects the appropriate description that we want to display to the user. So this approach works fine, but it's a bit brutish. We, quite frankly, can do a bit better. If we're looking for a much more elegant solution, we can leverage the power of the type converter, which is found in the system.componentModule namespace. This class provides us a way of converting one type of values to another type, which is exactly what we want to do in this situation. We're going to be writing our own type converter, which is going to be looking at the enumeration class itself to get the description that we want to display to the user. And to do that, we need to start by adding metadata to the enumeration itself. So for this example, we're gonna use an enum of colors. I'm gonna be adding a description attribute for each of our values, bright red, ocean blue, and forest green. These are gonna be the descriptions that we're gonna be displaying to the user. Right, next we're going to be creating our own type converter that is going to be able to read from that attribute that we just created. So we're gonna go and create a new class, in our case, enum description type converter. This is going to inherit from enum converter, and that's gonna inherit from our base class. Then we need to override the convert to method. This convert to value is gonna be called at the time when we wanna do our conversion. As far as the values that are being passed in here, the context in our situation is the blazer. Culture info is about the globalization. We're really gonna be dealing with the value and the destination type. First off, we wanna check if our destination type is in fact a of type string. That's the only casting we're going to be interested in. If there's any other casting, we want it to revert back and use the default from the base class. It's at this point where we wanna get the field itself. This is using reflection to find out information about the particular enumeration value that we've chosen. We are then going to go and get the actual description, description attribute, and we're gonna get that from our custom attribute and we're going to look for the one that is of type description attribute. We're gonna check if that's equal to null. Uh, this is moaning because we haven't included the reflection namespace, and then we're gonna return the description. So, so pretty much summarized, this code is, is saying, when we do the conversion, is the conversion trying to convert it to a string? If it is, 
go and get the value of the attribute. Just get the value of whichever one is, is selected, either the bright red, ocean blue, or forest green. So now whenever we're doing type conversions with this particular enumeration, we need to tell the compiler to use our custom type converter as opposed to the default one. So we do this by setting a, an attribute on the entire type, and here, instead of it being type of enumerator, it's going to be our custom new custom one which is going to be uh, description type converter is what we called it so now when we go and call our get description in our blazer page at this point we're going to have to fetch our type converter and then pass the value selected to that type converter and have it select the right attribute so so to do this we need to use the type descriptor class and this needs to go and get a uh, our particular converter. We don't need to actually specify which converter that we need to use. Instead, we're going to pass in our value. The type descriptor is going to infer that based on the attribute that we added. So all we need to do is actually pass in just the value that's been selected. And then we need to call the convert to string passing in the value again that we called. Oh, we need to return it as a string. And then to see if it runs, and there we have it displaying our strings directly from our attributes on the enum itself. So this is pretty damn slick, it's clean, and there's a great form of separation of concerns here. But in level five, we can do a bit better by extending our attributes even further. In level five, we can extend our type converter to go and put um, whatever markup we want alongside. In this case, I've just chosen some emojis. So let's quickly go and see how we do that. So in order to do this, we really just need to create our own icon attribute, and this will inherit from attribute. All this is gonna have is a string called icon. We do need to clear that this, how this attribute is going to be used. It's a field and allow multiple, we're gonna set false. So while the description of the attribute is a already built into the component model, the icon attribute now is our own a custom one which we can go and add to each of our icon attributes. And we could, in theory, add whatever markup we wanted to in here. For the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna add some emojis Next is to change our type converter to accommodate for the both the description and the icon. I've changed the name here to be description and icon. We can shorten this code so that we either fetch the description or just the straight value that comes from the enumeration. But now likewise with the icon, we can say go and fetch the icon attribute. And finally in our return statement, we will return icon and the description. This could return any markup you wanted if you were using font awesome icons for example or, or whatever you wanted in here. Next we need to make sure that this is pointing at the correct one description and icon type converter. We don't need to touch our blazer page because that is still going to infer which type converter we need to use based on the attribute that we set at the top of this. There we have it showing each of our emojis at the beginning of the description. You can get all the source code and the different levels in a link in the description. It's completely free. I have more Blazor and C-sharp stuff on the channel. I suggest you start with this one.